How's it going today, folks? Today, we're going to be unboxing the Battle of Legend Heroes Revenge. Oh my goodness. Uh, this booster box has some pretty awesome cards. It includes the Borosaur Dragon and also the <clears throat> the most expensive card being the Black Luster Soldier, Soldier of Chaos. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Goodness, I am a little bit sick. I've been having just mucus up all in my throat. Uh, but yeah, it comes with a uh, BLS. It is currently $64.45. That's the uh, market price on TCG Player. And oh my goodness, that is what we're trying to get today. That is the sole purpose of why I got this box. And as well as, I guess, the Borosaur Dragon. I think when the first when this box first came out, the Borosaur was actually pretty good price. It was at the time, I believe, the most expensive card in this set. It was around, like, over priced over $45, I believe. But yeah, it's it's gone down since. That was probably like a couple months ago. And <clears throat> I guess uh, let's take off the plastic wrapping and get straight into the action here. I actually just got off work today as well. Like, my... This booster box was actually supposed to... I was supposed to get it. I mean, it said before 9 p.m. And I honestly was just waiting all day. I had class today. And, oh my goodness, I'm struggling as always trying to open these boxes. But yeah, I had class today, and I got, luckily I got out of class early, and I drove, I live about, I go to the community college in my town, and I drove 10 minutes back home, and I just waited. I, I worked at 4.30, I got home at around like 3.20ish, I just literally waited in my living room looking out that window, and just making sure to see if that UPS truck was going to come by. And it didn't. I was so sad. I really wanted to open this box before I headed to work. But, you know, I guess it's not so bad. Got to come home with an awesome surprise here. But, yeah, the set comes with 24 packs. Like always, we're going to set one on the side. And keep the other one set aside. We're going to be sleeving them with some Ultra Pro blue sleeves. Yu-Gi-Oh! sized. I, my goodness, I have bought so many sleeves. I probably have over... Like 800 sleeves because like oh my goodness if I could show you guys my room like it is a complete mess because I just have Yu-Gi-Oh cards just scattered out I've been trying to organize like my monsters but let's get straight into the action here uh, again and uh, open the Battle of Legends Heroes Revenge our first pack and let's see what our luck will be we go Ooh, we got a sky striker ace ray first card all right bet that's what i like revival swarm fortune fairy and destiny hero dangerous and battle wasp pin the bullseye dude that's awesome i think actually i think this is like my seventh copy from the set i've also bought um some individual packs from walmart and I'd, I'm telling you guys, if, don't waste your money on those packs. You can, it's a lot cheaper buying it like this instead. I think at the time when I bought this, it was like 61 bucks. I think at the time it was around like 70 or so. So I get my stuff from Amazon Prime. Oh baby, the Borosword Dragon. Oh my goodness, dude, we got it. Hell yeah, what the hell? Okay, okay, we got some good ass luck here. <laughs> Dude, this is sweet. Okay, yeah, we're sleeping this. Uh, we're sleeping up in just a moment. Okay, Battle Watch, Azusa, the Ghost Bow. Battle Wasp, Twin Bow, the Attacker. Battle, Battle Wasp, Arbalist, the Rapid Fire. And Shadow Scomanta. A lot of Battle Wasp cards there. But oh my goodness, we got the Boro Sword card. The second most expensive card in this set. Uh, its current market price is $17.64. Oh my goodness, that is just smexy. So we're going to sleeve up this bad boy here. Wow, second pack, guys. Oh my goodness, that is nuts. That is insane. I like it. I dig it. That's what I like. That's what I want. Got the daddy card. All right, on to our third pack here. <gasps> no, don't want to bend these corners. We got All Eyes Phantom Dragon. Sweet. Vision Hero Trinity. White Dragon Wyvern Buster. 
Shadow Falco and Elemental Hero Stratos. Nice. Some pretty good cards. I think I should be able to get almost all the cards in this set because I think I, when I was buying it individually from Walmart, I bought at least like 20 packs. So the only card I'm really missing is the Black Lesser Soldier of Chaos. Ooh, we got Cyber Steen. It's like one of those classic cards. Got Ultra Rare. Unacceptable Result. Predoplast. Uh, Dra Dragon Necro Nether Soul Dragon. And Vision Hero Minimum Ray. Pretty sweet. Open up our next pack here. We got Iperia. Shadow Hedgehog. Ooh, a Vision Hero Witch Raider. TG Drillfish and Fortune Fairy Chi. Awesome. Some pretty sick cards in this set, guys. I love it. Like, I told you before, I am honestly a fool for freaking these hollow cards. I mean, it comes with five holographic cards in each each pack. And I tell you, like, that stuff, like, I can't get over that. I might actually buy another Hidden Summoners just to get three sets of each card. But we got a Dark Sacrifice, a Magical Musketeer Max, Foolish Burial, Miracle Stone, and a Summon Limit. This is a pretty good card. Uh, it's currently priced at $3.13 market price on TCG Player. Um, actually, let's, yeah, let's leave this up. One of the more expensive cards out there in this set. I like that, <clears throat> what it looks like, kind of like a bowl on there. Pretty sweet. Put that right in here. <clears throat> yeah, I kind of want to take my time on this one because there are some really nice cards in here. I'm actually going to have to get another binder to I think practically fill the rest of my, my Ultra Pro binder, all the pages, so I'm going to need a new one. We got another uh, Iperia, Lucky Loan, uh, Vision Hero Multiply Guy, uh, Fortune Fairy Sweet, and Battle Wasp Halberd the Charge. Pretty sweet stuff. Yeah, this set actually has quite a bit of decent cards. Uh, fairly priced as well, so I think you actually get your, uh, your bang for your buck for this set, I would say. Uh, we got Interrupted Kaiju Slumber. Uh, number 76, Harmonizer Gradi Gradiel. Gradiel. Herald of the Arclight, Vision Release, and number 60, Dugaris the Timeless. I was actually talking to one of my supervisors, and he believes this card actually might go up in price, and it actually has a pretty good effect. Two level 4 monsters uh, to Ixie summon this card. You can detach two materials from this card, then activate one of the following effects. You can either, one, skip your next draw phase, also draw two cards, and then discard one card. Skip your next main phase one, also special monster, special summon one monster from your graveyard in defense position. Skip the battle phase of your next turn, also double the attack of one monster you control until the end of this turn. So there's actually some pretty, pretty good effects on this card. And I think, you know, I... I, I run a Chaos Max Dragon deck. It's just kind of a, you know, when I first started, I just started playing the, Kai, I bought Kaiba's Reloaded deck, and I just kind of loved playing the Blue Eyes ever since, but I don't usually play with very much low-level monsters, especially level fours. Oh, baby, we got a Dino Wrestler Pancratops. Let's leave this bad boy up. A Vision Hero Gravito, um, Apparition, Battle Wasp, Sting the Poison, and Fortune Fairy N. There we go, a Dino Wrestler Pancratops. I believe this is my, my, actually my seventh, my seventh copy of this one. So it's pretty sweet. You know, I always think about trading, but at the same time, it's like, honestly, I think I'm kind of a hoarder because I love just keeping all my cards. Like, I just, I don't care how many sets I have of them. Like, I just like to keep them for show, having all these copies of them. It's kind of nice. Let's see what we're going to get. High speed roid rubber band shooter. We got artifact scythe, revival swarm, 
Guardian of Order and Badawas pin the bullseye. Nice. Oh man, I'm so excited. Like, oh, I so hope we get a BLS in this. I mean, we got the Boar Sword in our second pack, and I just hope we get that streak rolling, you know? We got Fortune Fairy Hikari, Water of Life, Shadow Beast, Badawas Pobber the Charge, and Salaman Great Sanctuary. Stardust Mirage, Badawas Ballista the Armageddon, Will of Salem and Great, Shadow Falco, and another Elemental Hero Stratos. Pretty sick, dirty. I was actually watching uh, TSX Samurai, his one of his videos, and I think he went 3 0 at a tournament with. He said one of the best cards that he used that helped him was uh, Elemental Hero Stratos. I didn't really watch the full video, but uh, that's as far as I got. We got a Vision Fusion, TG Metal Skeleton, Vision Hero Trinity, Vision Hero <clears throat> Poisoner, and Summoning Swarm. So that was, that was our uh, first 12 packs we just opened. And now we can open our last 24 packs, hoping for a BLS here. Oh man, look at those packs. You know, I, so far I've actually been keeping my boxes from the last three unboxing videos I have. I mean, I wonder if I should honestly keep these. I mean, they're practically useless, but I don't know. I just like to keep it just for show. They're, they're kind of cool, to be honest. All right, here we go. We got 12 more packs, baby. Let's get it. BLS. Hey, even if we get another Borosaur Dragon, I'm happy with that as well. We got a good pack here. Ooh, we got the five-headed dragon. I remember seeing this in actual in uh, season one of Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, Lucky Loan, Unacceptable Result, Battle Wasp Nest, and Sonic Stun. I'm kind of sorry if the lighting isn't that great in here. I I literally just using the my light from my room, and then I have like two other lamps, so it might not be the best lighting in here, but might just have to do for now until uh, I, I usually do my unboxing videos like in the morning or in the afternoon so I usually use like the natural sunlight for the lighting but I might think about getting another extra like a light you use for like a studio light you know but let's see what we get a vision hero Vion sky striker maneuver afterburners beta wasp dart the hunter a Luna Light Kaleido, uh, Kaleido Chick and Miracle Stone. Maybe I should separate the piles just to see which set of 12s we can get. Right, let's see here. We got, ooh, ooh, Sky Striker Mobilize Engage. That one is a $7.70 card, so it's a pretty. Pretty fair price card, and definitely gonna sleeve this one up. We're getting some pretty pricey cards in this set, and uh, you know that's what we're aiming for. That's what we want, especially trying to make our value from this set. Uh, next up, we've got Luna Light Crimson Fox, Vision Hero Multiply Guy, Guardian of Order, and Gold Moon Coin. Nice. Uh, TG Gear Zombie. We got White Dragon Wyvern Buster. Elemental Hero Absolute Zero. Vision Release and Beta Wasp Sting the Poison. Nice cards. Ooh, Harpy Conductor. I like it. Looks pretty sweet. Uh, Gingerbread House, Shadow Hedgehog, Fortune Fury Chi, and uh, TG Joefish. I like that Harbor Conductor card. I didn't, I didn't know, I didn't know that that was actually in the set because uh, I have my computer opened up here. Wow, there's actually a lot of cards worth over a dollar. 
verse 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We've got about 17 cards in this set that are worth more than a dollar. So honestly, the chances of getting those like, I mean, is honestly pretty high. So you know, I would recommend getting this set while it's still decently priced, I would say. We got interu Interrupted Kaiju Slumber, Herald of the Arclight, Predoplast, uh, Sub Terror Guru, and Gimmick Puppet Chimera Doll. It kind of matches our uh, our Immortal Destiny for those gimmick cards. That's some pretty interesting cards. I, I didn't look at too much of them, but I kind of dig the uh, the artwork of those monsters. Wow, we really this is our we're only down to four more packs after this one. We got a trap, trap trick, Sarah, Fortune Fury, and Vision Hero Witch Raider, Black Dragon Coloss uh, Collapse Serpent, and Destiny Hero Dangerous. All right, all right, Ooh, we're not done yet. Four more packs. BLS, BLS, come on. Elemental Hero Neil Knight, Badawas Azusa the Ghost Bow, Shadow Beast, Fortune Fairy Sui, and Vision Hero Minimum Ray. All right, this is honestly a really good set. I can't. I just. I can't get over that. Ooh, High Speed Roid uh, Kite Drake. Battle Wasp, Ballista, the Armageddon. Number 26, Spaceway uh, Octobus. Dang, that looks kind of cool. I like that artwork. I like like the galaxy looking stuff and like right there. Looks sweet. Uh, symbol of Friendship. Hey, we got Yugi and his uh, his group of friends there. And uh, Fortune Fairy N. Oh, all right, we got this and one more pack. Oh my goodness! I'm telling you. Ooh, another Sky Striker Ace Ray. Fortune Fairy Who, Vision Hero Gravito, Luna Light Kaleido Chick, and Salomon Great Sanctuary. Dude, this is sweet. Oh my goodness, we're on to our last pack here. Oh, oh God, I need to sit back just for a moment. Oh, come on, BLS. BLS, or if we get another Boros or a Dragon, you know, that'd honestly be sweet as heck as well. Oh, my goodness, you know what I forgot? That, uh... <coughs> oh, God, excuse me. Oh, we got that, uh, that Trap Trick Syrah. It's actually a pretty decently priced card at three bucks. We need to find that and sleeve that up right away. Here it is. And I think that's it. All right, pretty sweet. Yeah, I think um, I kind of have an idea for one of my next videos. I was kind of thinking of just doing like a little Yu-Gi-Oh! collection show and just kind of showing them, you know, what I have, how I kind of organize my cards as well. I've been trying to be big on organizing, uh, especially with like uh, their archetypes. And kind of like what kind of monsters they are, you know. So, <clears throat> just trying to keep it organized. Because especially, you know, with all these booster boxes and stuff. Kind of want to keep that stuff nice. And I honestly, like, oh, it's so hard. If I don't have, like, a set of three. Like, I just need a set of three. But, alright, we're on to our last pack here. And honestly, let's, uh, let's hope we get BLS. This one's kind of weird to open. Ah, oh, baby, let's go. We got an Eperia. Battle Boss Twin Bow the Attacker. Battle Boss Dart the Hunter. Vision Hero Poisoner. And Battle Boss Arbalist the Rapid Fire. So, no BLS in this pack, sadly. But, hey, we did come up with a Boral Sword Dragon. Especially on our second pack. So, you know, I'm honestly happy for that. Uh, I think we honestly probably did make our value overall, just you know, just about at least, because most of these cards are at least priced over a dollar. 
and we get 24 packs times five you know that's you know that's quite a that's quite a lot of cards like i'm bad at math but you know it's over 120 cards it, actually it is 120 <laughs> i just did the calculator for that you get 120 cards in this pack so you know you should at least be bound if each card's a dollar you know you're practically making maybe your value maybe even a little bit more than that but honestly i think this uh this set is pretty worth it you know you got that sweet secret rare boros or dragon and you might have the luck of pulling bls which is you get that one card and that's practically the whole set you just made it the you made enough for the rest of that for whatever you paid for the set i mean i bought this set for about 61 62 dollars and at the time it was over 70 uh in usd so i'd say get it while it's still a bit cheap uh bls went up when it first i think when this first when this set first came out it was around 35 dollars and it was the second most expensive card right below boros or dragon and this card ended up being <clears throat> this card ended up being uh like one of the cheaper ones now or not one of the cheaper ones it's the second it went uh now this is the second most expensive while black luster soldier is now the first most so uh again you know just if you guys see this video just think about maybe purchasing your own box of this because honestly i think this is worth it and i'll see you when the next time i make a video i don't want to talk too long here but yeah i think my next idea will either be probably another collection and just kind of showing off my collection or perhaps maybe one of my own my blue eyes deck profile that and i think i probably won't be making another unboxing video for a while so i guess we'll see because i have a buddy that i work with and he's also my friend that we're thinking about spending over 250 dollars on cards and making a video about you know just about like our unboxing of it so uh, i'm not quite sure what i'm thinking about getting but i'll let you guys know and i guess i'll just catch you guys in the next video so don't forget to hit that like uh, please subscribe if you're new and if you're interested in seeing more content, you know, it obviously helps me and inspires me to kind of make more videos and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and again, uh, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and turn on that notification that way you guys know when I make a new video and of course, have a good night or day, but catch you guys in the next one. Peace.